I feel like I'm on Sesame Street. That's a big letter K right there. And it's attached to the name Terlock, carved into the side of this big, beautiful new greenhouse. And that's where we are, Terlock Orchids in uh, the Westlands of the Netherlands. And we've been invited for a behind the scenes tour by Edward Terlock himself to check out their new Phalaenopsis Orchid production facility. It's amazing, you're gonna love it. Come on inside with me. talks again and I am in a sea of orchids and who knows more about orchids uh, orchids than uh, Edward Terlock probably nobody hey Edward how's it going good to yeah, see you, fine, thank you. <laughs> uh, Edward promised to take us on a tour of his facility very quick and it's starting right here with these young plants tell us about these Edward real quick yeah, yeah we get the, the tissue culture where we start our uh, production uh, phalaenopsis 12 centimeter pot and here uh, from here we take about 30 weeks to get a potting size plant. 30 weeks, and, uh, and that's what we have out here. These are all plants that have come from, uh, from in vitro tissue culture uh, into trays. You say they stay out here 30 weeks, right? Yep. We yeah. want to put up a big size of plant. And after 30 weeks, uh, it's about the size over there. And from that uh, size, we start potting up. All right, let's go take oh. a look at the, uh, the potting process, shall we? Yep. All right, we've come into the production barn here. What are these, uh, what are these ladies doing, Edward? They're taking out the plants and uh, to look for the quality and if they're healthy enough. And how do these look to you? Uh, they, uh, the quality of this plant uh, looks very good and healthy. All right, what's next? Uh, next uh, part is uh, that we start potting off. All right, let's check that out. Over here, they start uh, potting the plants. So this is the potting they've got going on over here. Huh? Yeah. Now and this uh, this is being done by hand. No machines. No, no. Put them by hand because of the the long roots. It's very uh, difficult to make it, uh, automatically. But it still looks pretty efficient. Yeah, it go uh, very uh, fast and. Uh, on the, on the pot, we uh, put the label with all the information of the plant. The breeders of the plant, the, the, the variety number of names, the colors, and when they pot it off. And they're already getting graded here? In the camera, sort them by size, and he turn them uh, all the same way. So all the leaves are uh, looking at the same way. Ah. So they don't damage and they... Uh, on the same uh, part of the container. Now, Edward, we're going down two different lines here, I notice. Some are going one way, some going to the other. What's the difference here? We separate uh, the smaller and the bigger size, so all the same size come together on the container. All right. And that one went on and by. Here, and here you can see uh, you take up, the, take up the leaves so they don't damage and they don't get between the, the pots. So even this robot is unique for pot spacing then? Yeah, yeah, this is also the uh, first type of robot that would make this. All right, and these are ready to go very, in the greenhouse? Very easy, but it's very efficient. And these, these are set to go in the greenhouse then? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But well, we finally come out of the production area into the greenhouse. You actually have a greenhouse here. Yeah. And this is just a sea of orchids. This is right after potting. How many are we looking at here, do you think? How many? Yeah. That, uh, about uh, 800 on the table. Eight, 900, uh, 90 plants on the square meter. And they're, sta and they're standing here for about 10 weeks. How many tables are down this bay? I can't even hardly see to the end. It's crazy. At the end, about 110 tables. Times in a, 800. In, in a row. <laughs> so 80 plus 100,000 plants or so right down here. Yeah. And fascinatingly, watch, watch out. Well, it's one of the hazards. You just will uh, get run over here. Yeah, the train will take <laughs> the plants uh, into the greenhouse and taking them out. All right. And way down deep there is the grower because there are no aisles here. So that's your grower riding over the top of the crop. Yeah, they're checking the, the plants. They're healthy. They need water. If there's something wrong with the screen or the lamps, they can, uh, they can fix it this way. So our spacing is very efficient, and uh, that's the way to control the plants. So Edward, these have been growing for uh, for how long now? They are now 10 to maximum 12 weeks old, after potting. All right, but we're putting them 
into these plastic cups. What is what is this all about? Uh, we can uh, put uh, more on the square meter, so every plant gets also the same water and the same space. Otherwise, other, uh, on the normal way, the plants uh, will sometimes stay too dry because the leaves are on each other. Oh, I see. So you're going to grow the plants in these plastic, these clear plastic cups. Yeah. First stage, this plastic cups for about 16 weeks. 16 weeks. Yeah. Okay. And you said you can get uh, how many pots per table when they're in these? Uh, 70 on the square meter. 70 on it per square meter. It's about, it's about 700 plants in the container. Okay. So very efficient for yeah. space. Yeah. And the plants grow okay in these cups? Yeah. They get the, all the same space, all the same water. And they, uh, don't, and they don't damage. All right. All right. Now what's happening behind us here? Behind us. Uh, these, go, these cups are a little bit different. Yeah, they go from the first cup to the second cup. Of course, we want to grow a high quality plant with a big size. So we need to give them extra space. So the plants have gotten a little bigger. How long you say? You said 16 weeks? 16 weeks in the first in cup. In that first cup. Then they're standing for uh, three or four weeks more in the bigger cup before they go to the cooling. These cups kind of look like uh, you could mix a blend of margarita in them or something like yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, that's uh, where the idea comes from. Is it really? <laughs> and no, it's all, the, the, the size is a little bit bigger and the shape. Yeah, you can see there goes some old ones going away and here come the new cups coming up. Yeah, but uh, we need also the, uh, the special candles for the, the spikes. Yeah, with this we can also control the spikes, otherwise they turn around under the leaves. And now, oh. now they grow through the spike on the leaves on our... Uh, and it's all happening automatically. Edward, describe what we're looking at here. Here is the uh, last phase in the, in the young plants with the big cup, 84 plants a square meter. And here they are two, three weeks before uh, cooling, ready for induction. All right, Edward, we came out of the, the cool greenhouse where you said they, they stay for eight weeks at, at 19 degrees. These are now starting to show the, the flower spikes. Yeah. So how long are they, uh, how long until they're in full bloom now? Depends a little bit on the variety, but they have now to stand here at uh, 10 to 12 weeks before they flowering ready to sell. And in uh, about 22 weeks, they uh, stand all in the cups you saw. Mm -hmm. More hand work going on here. Yeah, the going by hand. But as you said, to maintain your high quality, you've got to have some people involved in the uh, in the production process. Yeah, and have to, uh, to watch out for the quality and. Uh, So what's happening here? Here the Edward? camera looks at the amount of spikes, the height, and if they are uh, in butter and flour. Okay. Edward, we, fin we finally have some flowers here after all these weeks of production. Yeah, these are the first flowers you see from this uh, new greenhouse. It's week four now, and uh, we start this week with uh, the first plants to sell. How long have they been in here now? Normally for 50 weeks. This plant, uh, we get half grown, OVI, from our old company. But from, uh, we started in week 20, so in uh, week 18, we start with uh, normal uh, capacity, normal production. And so uh, by the time you get up to full speed, which is pretty soon, you're gonna be cranking out 4 million yeah. from this greenhouse, you said. About, about 75,000 a week. 75,000 a week. About, yeah. Pretty impressive. But these are not done yet. They still have to get graded again, right? And then sorted yeah, by yeah. color and size and spike these count and everything. One time go to the camera after sticking and before they are ready to sell, they go to the camera again. To see the height, quality, amount of flowers. Camera know which variety it is, so we know the color. 